Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Let's jump into this. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see. How is Gemini coming into the week? The Queen of Swords. So being very firm, very distinct, <clears throat> very calculated, uh, understanding. Having gotten some awareness, some clarity about what it is you need to do. What needs to go? Yeah. Maybe page of swords. Uh, you could be, you know, rather frank or very stern, maybe even a little tactless in your communication. You just saying whatever comes to heart. Okay. It could be maybe putting your foot in your mouth. It could be going overboard. It could even be that you're spying. Maybe you're talking about something that you saw or that you heard or something that you feel. Um, you could be in a relationship where there's a lot of pettiness and argument. There's disagreement here. Let's see what the advice is for Gemini. Page of Cups. It, it says a need for to let the pettiness and the immaturity to subside. With the Page of Cups, it says um, you, you might need to secure your emotions. They're getting away from you. Um, you need to learn emotional uh, maturity. Um, there's a need to be more romantic. Either you or your person with the page of cups. You could be dealing with someone younger than you. Um, you, may, you need to be direct also. Let's see what the outcome is if you take the, okay, another Gemini card, Eight of Swords. So I don't know if you kind of just, this is like failure to speak your mind or maybe over speaking or over sharing something is still up in the air. You're not sure about something. You're not sure about a decision or the, the, the decision is in somebody else's hands. Um, you're trying to do two different things at the same time. You could have, um, you could do two different things to earn money. And it's like, you're just trying to juggle it all and keep it up with the eight of swords. You feel like, this is, see, this is you being too nice or too good natured. And this is where it gets you. It gets you trapped and stuck in your thoughts and your heart and your mind. Failure to move, waiting for this person. So it's like, this is an energy where you feel like you're waiting. Maybe waiting for communication, waiting for somebody to take you out, waiting for somebody to give you attention, waiting, waiting. You know, like the ball is in their court. Like they have the power here. What is this about for Gemini? Then we're gonna get out of here. What is this about? Yeah, so it's like somebody's not reaching out. They're thinking of you, but not reaching out or vice versa. This is you, Gemini. Um, maybe even snooping around, sneaking around, or somebody's doing something to where it is um, it is taboo. It is hidden. It is behind the scenes. You could have a relationship with somebody who already has one. You could be spying on someone via social media, other people. You're waiting for this person to reach out to you or to say something to you. Or you're holding back your your true thoughts of how you truly feel about this person out of fear. Eight of, eight of swords can be fear. You need to be like the page of cups. Speak your mind because something is getting away from you or it will get away from you. Um, a need to be more emotionally evolved, mature. Be romantic. Be the page of cups. You've got a lot of dreams, a lot of wishes. You need to go after them. That's what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates, go over to the website and book your own reading there. Write down in the comment section how it resonates for you. Go, And then you can catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I do a collective reading and you can ask questions. Thank you, Gemini. Many blessings to you. Take care.